Okay, well I think um, we're, we're here today to talk about trafficking and exploitation and, and in the, um, the regions that, that I have worked on and conducted research on, particularly in, in Syria and Iraq, I think you have in some cases very severe cases of, of trafficking and exploitation. Um, and also what I think is quite disturbing is that some of the victims of that trafficking and exploitation, particularly for example the Yazidis in Iraq, um, even though there has been a lot of media attention, there are still a number of, of victims who are not receiving adequate protection and rehabilitation um, in conversations with NGOs working on the ground in, in Iraq, they really struggle to provide services for these victims, which I think should come as a surprise given how much uh, attention the case has received, you know, as one of the most extreme forms of trafficking and sexual slavery, but unfortunately the response has not been sufficient. Um, I think in, in, it's difficult to speak about the situation of all the various different uh, religious minorities, particularly in a country like Iraq, which is so diverse. Um, I think in different regions are facing different challenges. How can this conference uh, introduce as a solution for the problems of the uh, Middle East? Well, I think uh, it's the, the, the problems that, that we're facing in, in the Middle East, I think, you know, can't really be solved by, by one conference. In this conference here, we're really trying to focus on a specific crime, which is trafficking in persons. Um, in the research that I've conducted in relation to Syria, uh, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq and Turkey, um, we find very specific forms of, of trafficking related to the conflict, related to the refugee situation. Um, and we're trying to build up an evidence base so that when we try to prevent people from being trafficked and we try to protect people who've already been trafficked that we're doing that based on knowledge of what's actually taking place and in particularly in relation to the conflict situations in Syria and to a certain extent in Iraq the people who are displaced we find that people are, are so desperate that they're ending up in situations of, of exploitation um, and we really need a very targeted uh, response to that we need both the national governments in the countries where refugees are and the international community to respond to reduce those vulnerabilities to make sure people have access to jobs and education and therefore are more resilient to, to trafficking. So I think here is an opportunity to exchange uh, information and knowledge and, and solid research to try and guide our response. But unfortunately it's something that's not so easy to solve and will take a lot of work um, in the next few years. How did you react with the story of uh, Lamia Bashar? Well, Is it expressing the woman's situation? Um, unfortunately, I, I'm very much aware of